Filtrum, Odds Bodkins, Snake Bites, Labrettes, Gacko. Some of these are real lip piercings and some are just nonsense. Hi, it's Riley with BodyArtForms.com and today we're clearing up the confusion about lip piercings. Let's start with the easy part. Lip piercings are piercings around or through the lips, this area. For terminology, let's start with the labrette. This piercing is centered just below the bottom lip. It shares the name labrette with the jewelry most often worn in this piercing, but rings are also a popular option. This piercing goes fully through the skin, below the lower lip, and will touch the gums of your bottom front teeth. There is also the vertical labrette piercing. This piercing utilizes a curved barbell to go through the bottom lip and exits just below it. Next, you have the philtrum piercing, often referred to as the medusa. The small divot of skin just above the top lip is the philtrum, hence the piercing's name, and it's just like a labrette, but on top. A gestrum piercing is like a vertical labrette, only it goes through the philtrum and the top lip. For single side lip piercings, you have the Monroe, which is a piercing on the upper lip towards the left side, and the Madonna, also on the upper lip, but on the right side. Sound complicated? Don't worry, you can use the terms Monroe and Madonna interchangeably because no one can remember which side is which, or if it's your right side or their right when they're facing you. Are you looking in the mirror? Because now everything is backwards. If you say it confidently, everyone will be afraid to argue. A pair of piercings at the corner of the mouth is called a dahlia. Next you have the various bite piercings. A bite piercing is a pair of parallel piercings that are located on either the bottom or upper lip area. For example, there are snake bites, a pair of lower lip piercings on either side of the mouth. They look kind of like snake fangs if you're wearing rings in them, hence the name. Angel bites, a pair of piercing mirroring snake bites on the upper lip. If you wear rings in these, they look a bit like the fangs that angels have. Spider bites, a pair of lower lip piercings right next to each other on either side of the lip. Like a spider, I guess? Dolphin bites are similar to spider bites, but are centered below the bottom lip. Really? Do dolphins even have teeth? Shark bites combine both snake and spider bites for a total of four piercings, two on each lower lip. Because it combines snake and spider bites into a shark, these can also be referred to as an Australia. Lastly, cyber bites is the combination of a philtrum and labrette piercing. A couple things to keep in mind when selecting a lip piercing for yourself. Everyone's anatomy is different and the exact placement of your piercings will depend on your body. Your piercer should be able to help you with getting the piercing that's right for you. Make sure to also mention to your piercer if you plan to wear rings in your lip or labrettes as this could affect the exact placement. Because all of these are in contact with some part of your mouth and saliva, you'll want to talk to your piercer about proper cleaning and care. We hope that this has been helpful and a little funny. Do you have any of these piercings or do you plan to get some? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on all of our socials at Body Art Forms. Bye!